Hi everyone, and welcome to Sipping with Sam. This week, I've been having a look at Distillery 031 and the Durban Gins. Distillery 031, as the name would suggest, is the, the postal code, or the dialing code rather, for Durban. So this distillery is based in Durban, one of the first craft distilleries in South Africa. That was something I didn't know. They have three gins in their range, and today I'm having a look at the Scarlet Gin, um, which is also why I'm dressed like this, in tribute to Scarlet O'Hara. This gin is unique, not only because of its scarlet colour, but because it's distilled with cascara, um, berries or else coffee cherries. So these are, to my understanding, what coffee actually does come from. We do have them growing in the wild. I've seen them in Cuisine Natal before. I have actually tasted them too. So it does invite quite an unusual flavour into the gin, which is why I wanted to play with some unique flavours to try and match it. So let's get started. We'll start off with a double, as usual, of the Scarlet Gin. And to that, I'm going to be adding some Turkish coffee. So normally, Turkish coffee is actually made in the sand, but I have a stove, so I made it on there. And um, it does have a little bit of sugar in it, so it will add some sweetness to the drink itself. Um, I'm doing about half of one tot there, and to that I'm adding some lemon peel and a strawberry, along with some rose water. I looked up the coffee cherry, and they said that the actual taste is similar to hibiscus and rose water, so just a dash of that. And lastly, we're going to top it off with some tonic. and give that a little stir with my whale tail swizzle stick. It's not bad. I definitely get the coffee coming through. Like I said, I'm glad that I made it a short drink because it's very potent. There's a lot of elements to it. I can taste the gin, I can taste the coffee, the tonic, the rose water. It's, it's actually really beautiful. And I think it's a punch in the teeth, actually. That'll keep me up for a, a few hours. Um, I might have one or two more of these. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Stay tuned for next week. And have a look where you can get your own bottle of Scarlet Gin. Thank you very much. And this gin is quite unique, apart from its, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> in the likeness of Scarlet O'Hara. My favorite being the oak, um, Hi everyone, and welcome to Sipping with Sam. To Hi everyone, and what? This gin is quite unique. Because not only does it have this gorgeous scarlet colour, but it's also distilled with...